Hello everyone, please welcome and join me EasySaps phone repair and upgrade. I'm going to root my device uh, which is LG G2 Sprint. That's uh, LG G2. And I'm going to make uh, this device into developer mode right now. And I will show you how to do it in order to enable this device for USB debugging mode to computer. Go on a setting, you scroll up and you go to a, about do, the phone, about phone you go to system information. Once you are in system information you need to click a build number. You have to click build number four, five, six times and until it says, let me clear out, and you are in a developer mode. So it will allow you to get into the developer mode. So then you go back, and if you see, once we come back to the setting, initially the developer mode wasn't there, and now it uh, developer options did appear. So once you say developer mode, you, it's going to give you warning, you're going to say OK. Now the debugging mode we are enabled. So US debugging mode you need to check. So once you check again, it will say the allow, you have to say yes. Yeah, once we are in a developer mode option and we plug our USB to computer, and regardless of your computer, you have Windows 7, Windows 8, you want to pick up the driver as uh, it states on my computer, no driver found. In order to get the driver, uh, please uh, check under my info. The first link uh, I will uh, give you, it will uh, say for the driver. So you click on, I will bring you to this page. So you, in order to do it uh, easy and fast. So once you are into this page, uh, for root your G2 device and I'm going to scroll down the page and you just uh, you know watch around what I'm doing exactly so you need to click this uh, uh, just follow my mouse and click this one once we click it it's another window opens and that one say IO root so th that's where it says the window drivers Verizon drivers and drivers for everyone else, we need to click that. The reason we're doing, since we are doing it sprint. Uh, I have an antivirus uh, which uh, blocks out uh, that it's uh, not a safe uh, place or it's uh, risky, but um, just ignore that message part of that. I'm going to say continue because it says continue at your own risk. Yes, we are doing it. So now it's a downloading. If you look, uh, that it says LG United Mobile Driver, and it's a 10.9 mag. So now it's download. So we're gonna click on that, and we're gonna say run. Once you run it, it's gonna say give you option English, yes, and it's a preparing the setup. It will install the driver on your computer. This one takes a few um, minutes depending on the speed of your computer. Don't uh, get uh, disappointed that it uh, hang up or anything. Don't do anything. After installing the drivers, now we're going to do the actual process of uh, routing. So now we're going to do the I-O root. And for this one, the link uh, number two, please see under my description and uh, I follow that uh, my mouse now what we need to do we're going to scroll this thing up and we're going to i root io root 25 download we're gonna say uh, click so once you click it it will open let me zoom in it will open up this at uh, this file and once you extract the files, uh, this is the file most important if you look at the root, that's the one you need to double click and make sure that before you do that your phone is already hooked up everything. So once we click that, it's going to come say that uh, this file need to be verified, you say run. Once you run, it's going to come up to say you have to press any key to continue. We're going to press a key. 
on our keyboard then it's gonna say looking for the device and it's gonna be started uh, successfully once the daemon started successfully make sure that you go on your phone and if you look it on phone it says uh, this mode need to be activated so then you say allow from this computer I'm gonna say ok once we ok it on phone then uh, on the computer if I go back it will uh, process these steps and now it's gonna say press uh, enter for confirm ADB root you're going to press any key to continue so we're gonna say continue so once you press enter or any key on computer it's gonna say backing up PFS and it's gonna do its own course uh, partition and all that stuff now we're going to press again continue now it's uh, rebooting the door phone and now we're going to wait until the phone is uh, boot up the phone is booting up and um, after pressing the enter on our uh, computer and uh, it, once it says uh, it's completed the root process the phone has been rebooted and now we're going to come back to the phone and we'll see that the phone itself has if we go uh, press it under application if you see the super user has been added so the phone has been rooted thank you for watching my easy steps uh, LG G2 rooted phone and in order to unlock uh, your sim to other GSM carrier please watch my other uh, uh, video I'll uh, put the link into my info again and thank you for watching again. I appreciate that. Have a good day.